Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This video is going to be my well, miscellaneous haul from USA with items that I can't really put in a box where, where it is because I have already done one with my makeup or my beauty and one with, with the clothes, shoes and bags and this is everything else. So, the first thing I did in US when we came to Santa Monica, uh, we were in Los, Los Angeles first and then continued. Uh, it was actually to go to um, Bath and Body Works. I went there with uh, some of my kids because one of uh, my kids, he needed some gifts for his sisters. And we didn't know that it was the last day of sale. So I got this candle, even though I don't need more candles, uh, for half price. This were, oh, this was $24.50 and I paid $12.00. 12.25 for it and this is the Costa Rica Rainforest Passion Fruit Costa Rica scented candle and it's the with three wicks um, smells really good we spent way too much time uh, in the store uh, sniffing all the <laughs> candles that they had and some candles were really obnoxious and not good at all and others were really good but yeah I only bought one because they weigh a lot and I can only have 23 kilos uh, in my suitcase. I only had 21 but still. So that was the first one that was as I say 12 to 5. The next item that I bought in Santa Monica. This is at the Santa Monica 3rd Street Promenade. We actually went to uh, Apple store because the same kid again needed to buy a new cell phone. And, uh, when we were there, I was like, well, I have always said I wanted to buy an Apple Watch. I already wanted to buy an Apple Watch in 2015 when I was in Orlando doing my summer work. And I was like, okay, I'm going to buy an Apple Watch. Uh, even though I can get my Apple things discounted because my friend works at Apple, I was like, I'm going to buy one. So I bought this watch apple watch is the one that i have on my wrist uh, it's the series one 38 millimeter case with silver aluminum, uh, aluminum sport band white so yeah this is how it looks like and i have been wearing this since i came home and i really like it i don't remember how much it was like 250 i think the thing is i didn't get a receipt printed out it's in my email so i don't know but around 200 and 50 ish so that was item number two then in las vegas i actually didn't buy anything that isn't beauty or clothes wise related so i don't have anything from there but when we came to grand canyon i actually went on the helicopter ride that i didn't go on to two years ago but this time i did i was like i'm first in line i'm going i'm going on that helicopter ride even though it's expensive uh, and when you do the helicopter ride, you take a picture with your group and uh, uh, the pilot. And we went to Maverick. It looks like this. Uh, I don't know how to show this uh, without showing the faces of my student. And I can do it like this. It looks like this. I'm gonna I'm not flipping the finger. I'm just uh, covering the face of my student. So yeah, it's me. And my driver, one of my kids, and the pilot. Uh, almost not everyone in uh, of the kids were uh, flying, but the majority of the kids did actually do it. Uh, so that was actually a, a nice, and I think it's a nice experience, even though it's expensive. But it's a forty-five minute ride, so it's really good. Um, and yeah, this one was sixteen dollars, and I will put it up somewhere on my walls <laughs> or when I move and have a bigger place. Um, next stop we did and where I bought something was at the Cameron Trading Post in Cameron, Arizona. And I actually bought uh, some items. First off, I bought these earrings. I'm going to see if I can show you them without... Looks like this. I don't know if you can sh uh, see that. But they are... I would say uh, traditional Navajo uh, inspired with the 
with the like how they have done the the stones. This was uh, $7.99 and these were the earrings I was wearing in US because I forgot my my earrings in, here in Sweden because I always take them off when I'm showering. Um, then I bought some agates and actually it depends on which uh, I think these are the cheaper one. Yeah, mm, these two are the cheaper one for one ninety nine. Looks like this, and this is not. You can can't see a lot in there. And the one that is more expensive for three ninety nine is this blue one. It's really big and uh, really beautiful. Mm, so yeah, and then I also bought this butterfly. If you didn't know, I like butterflies a lot. This actually broke, um, so when I came home I had to super glue it, but you can't see that this part broke actually. This was also $3.99, so it's, uh, they had different animals. And the last thing I bought was this sticker. It's called the Van Gogh Circle Canyon, because it's Grand Canyon National Park. This was also three ninety nine. Do like this. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in my bullet journal actually. And then let's see, we after Arizona, we went to well, kind of Utah, but sorry, there is a fly bugging me. Uh, but then also we went to the Four Corners. So it's Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. And there I actually bought this magnet. I don't know really, I think I paid five dollars for this, but I'm not sure. So we have Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico. The like, the symbols they have for um, their states. And there I also bought bracelets. This is one, this is for me, and I also bought one uh, in blue, with blue stones, or blue pearls, to my mother, because she likes blue. And apparently, this are the symbols for uh, north, south, east, and west, and uh, for uh, the four states. So, yeah. Um, when we came to Texas, we were at the, let's see if I can remember, the fourth were the, oh god, the exchange, the, okay, I can't remember, but it's the, in fourth word, they have this place where they have the cattle and everything, and uh, last time I didn't buy anything, but this time I saw this. It's a Texas mistletoe, so they have chili fruits instead. And it's the Lone Star and everything. So this is sealed with a kiss. From Texas comes this gift for you. Just hang it up, you will see it's true. What falls next is always great. A red hot kiss from the Lone Star state. So yeah, this cost me $7.57. And I'm gonna hang it up in my Christmas tree. If I put up my Christmas tree I will see. Um, next stop was actually, uh, let's see, this was in Sulphur, Sulphur Springs, Texas. Um, and I did buy more things than just this, but the others were beauty items and one item that was uh, clothing. So, uh, we went around and looked a lot because there were a lot of back to school things and um, like cheaper things. So what I bought was this Fisker sh um, sharpener. Looks like this and it has this space on it. Uh, and you should be able to open it to, yeah, like this, to remove uh, what you have sharpened. So this was just one dollar, so that was good. Uh, then I bought this for my ear earphones. Uh, I always lose them or lose one of the, you know, the plastic thing that you put in your ear. 
that won't always get lost and I have dropped it so many times and then I found it but to have it safe I will put it in here and you can hang it up on your uh, on your bag and it's just like it's just like this this was also one dollar and then we were standing in the pen and pencil aisle for way too long and I bought, let's see here, I put a hair tie around it because it's always, it's everywhere. I found this, is this is a 24 pack of uh, pens from Scribble Stuff, I think it's called. Scribble Stuff, yeah. So it has a lot of colors and I have already used them and my kids have used them and they were like, oh, this is so good. I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, it was 11.97 for this. Then... Oh, let's see how I put it there. Then one of my girls uh, wanted to buy a ring, but it was actually two rings in one, but she didn't want to have one of the rings. And I was like, oh, well, I can have the other ring because it's more like bling bling. Unfortunately, it has already uh, turned black. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We should have painted it with uh, clear nail polishes, but yeah. It is what it is. So my my thing, I, I, my finger, I had it here, was all black around it. But yeah, uh, it was a two two rings. So I have one, and my one of my kids had the other. Uh, it was eight dollars for both of them, so I paid four. Um, what else? Then we came to Hot Springs in Arkansas. We went up in the Hot Springs Mountain Tower which I had never been to before, even though I've been there once before. And I actually bought this uh, print. This is the Lamar Bath House in Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas. Um, this is not the first print I buy in this. I have one from Santa Cruz when I was doing my first trip in the US in 2013. And then I have from, from last trip in 2016, I have Monument Valley and... No. No, not, not Monument Valley. Monument Valley, I only bought the postcard, but uh, in this uh, size, I have Mammoth Cave, that's the place, and something else. Oh, Washington, D.C., that's the thing. So, yeah, this is my uh, fourth uh, of these uh, posters or prints. So, yeah. And this was uh, $9.99. And this is actually printed in Seattle, Washington state. So that's that. And at the same place I actually bought also, let's see, this one is to have your um, glass items on so it shines from under. But I, I think I did a mistake and took the wrong thing because this, when I turn it on, it's, I can't turn it on right now because I don't have any uh, batteries, but when I turn it on with the cable, it's uh, in different colors, it's like a disco, but I wanted it just in white white uh, light. So I will ask my dad if he can try and uh, like open this up and change the the lead or the, the things inside, because uh, my dad can do that. But this I paid $22 and I bought the wrong thing. But oh yeah, well, well, that's life. Uh, continuing, we came to uh, Memphis uh, in in um, Tennessee, and we went to the Sun Studios. Last time, I went to Graceland, and I bought things there. And this time around, and I did actually buy some Sun Sun Studio items for my dad last time too. Um, I did buy some picks for playing guitar. This time around, I actually bought a T-shirt for my dad. He has the it's already in his closet, and I paid twenty dollars for that one. And for myself, I didn't want to buy a t-shirt, but I wanted to have something. So I bought this magnet where it says Sun, the legendary Sun Studios in Memphis, Tennessee. Looks like this. So this was just $3, so I was like, that's one of the cheaper things they have. And I will put that up on my refrigerator with everything else. In um, Nashville, I got to meet my friend that I haven't seen in 10 years. And uh, beforehand, I have asked her if I could send something to her house because I didn't want to pay the shipping to Sweden and 
now here in Sweden you have to ta pay tax, extra tax for uh, for items that are not from Europe and I didn't want to pay that and like you have to pay a fee first and then uh, extra tax and I was like I don't want to do that so I asked her can I send this to your house and when we meet I you can give it to me then so this is the thing I bought this is the sea glass color index if you didn't know uh, perhaps you don't uh, I collect sea glass well, every time I'm in Spain I go and pick sea glass like now in the summer we went to Spain for I was there for six, 17 days and out of those 17 days I went sea glass picking for 15 days it was only two days when I was in, in Morocco so this is the sea glass color index so you can like see the colors the names how rare they are so here we have a lime green and you can see the how rare and the region of it like it says on the back and everything so you can just match it together with the sea glass that you have and this is a girl okay, uh, girl whose name is Mar I can't pronounce it, pronounce it Mar she has an X on the end um, but uh, you can find her on Instagram and uh, she has her homepage and she sells this and uh, now I don't remember how much it was but if you're a sea glass collector, hunter, anything like that, this is worth it. So I will like categorize my my sto uh, my my sea glass and everything in right order because this is like there are so many uh, shades that I didn't know about because I'm like oh it's green it's not just green you have a whole variety of greens so yeah. So that I got and then afterwards after I met my friend and uh, we like we met at the Hard Rock Cafe and we had dinner there and then we went with the kids to Crazy Horse something saloon uh, because they were going to uh, do some line dancing and after that we went actually to Cracker Barrel uh, that is close to Grand Ole Opry and we ate there and then I actually found this humongous big book so this is the ultimate the ultimate guide of sea glass and it's by Mary Beth Buke she is a sea glass collector she still collects sea glass and she lives in I think California mm, so yeah she wrote this book and it's huge this book it weighs so much one of my kids every time he took out my suitcase from the the trailer he was like Danny your bag is so heavy I'm like no it's not <laughs> it's not um this was marked at at fifteen dollars but I paid twenty uh, twelve twenty five so it was a little bit sale on items they had other um, like sea items uh, on sale but uh, I only bought this, so yeah. Uh, then afterwards, I'm gonna put that there because it's gonna be heavy on this side. Uh, then afterward, when we came to Mammoth Cave, yeah, that is in Kentucky, uh, I was like, well, I have already bought a lot of things here from last time, so I'm not gonna buy that much. But I did find one print <laughs> again. This is not, so this is not from the same. Not the same company. Uh, so this is all the national parks in US uh, and when I looked at this I'm like oh I have been to one, two, three, I've been to four. I've been to four uh, um, national parks. So I have been to the one in Redwood, I've been to Grand Canyon, I've been to Hot Springs and Mammoth Cave. So yeah. So this one I bought in Mammo Cave and it was 20... 1999. So yeah. But I really liked it because it, you can see all the national parks. And yeah, I will put this in a frame and then have the other prints around this actually. Um, and after that we went to... Uh, where did you go then? 
Wait, Mama Cave in Kentucky. We continued in Kentucky. Sorry. I'm like, where are we? We went to Pilot. No, this is in West Virginia. Sorry. Uh, so from Kentucky, we went to uh, West Virginia and we came into Pilot, the gas station. And last time I did this trip two years ago, I did buy a lot of magnets. And there were some states that I didn't have. Well, they didn't have that could, so I could buy them. But this time around, I did buy them, and they are three ninety nine each. And I bought Kentucky, and I bought West Virginia to add to my collection. I'm still missing some states. I'm like, okay, because these were the only ones they had on the in this pilot um, uh, gasoline station. Uh, so yeah, I have to just find it another time. Uh, then in Lansing, we went to Adventures, Adventures on the Gore, Gorge, and actually I found something that was Swedish. This is a spark. It, I think, it does even say here in the back, made in Sweden. I had bought, I had one, and then my parents had one each, and then my mom's broke, and I bought a new one for her. So in total, we have had this is number five in the family. Uh, but I can't find this here in Sweden. Well, not at the store where I have been going to. So I was like, okay, I'm going all the way to US in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia, finding something from Sweden. So this spork it was three ninety nine. But I also, since I am doing my bullet journal, uh, found a sticker. <laughs> I liked it because it kind of goes with the other sticker I bought in Grand Canyon like this so yeah this was three dollars and it's made in US woohoo not in China like okay, all the rest of the things um let's see when we got away from uh, West Virginia we came to Washington DC and in Washington DC we went first of all Actually, not into Washington, but we went to the Smithsonian Institute, the Adver Hazy Air and Space Museum store at Chantilly, uh, Washington, no, Virginia, not Washington, D.C., Virginia. So we looked around and then we had some time to uh, buy things in the store, but we also had time then later to to go to other museums when we were in Washington DC. Uh, in this uh, museum I bought first off this NASA uh, met uh, magnet in metal. This was expensive, it was ten dollars and yeah I was like okay just because NASA I don't know. Uh, next uh, uh, magnet made in China uh, it's this of the solar system and it says here in 2006 Pluto was re reclassified as a dwarf planet leaving a total of eight planets in our solar system Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and it has like can you see it like it moves a little bit so this was five dollars and then the last thing I bought was this book about hidden treasure Hidden figures, sorry, but this is the Young Readers Edition. So it's the book that became a, a film. So this book was $7.99, Hidden Figures. The normal one that is not for young readers, the the one for grown-ups, was $15.99. I'm like, well, it's the same book, so I'm gonna buy the, the cheaper one, and I don't care if it's a young edition. Uh, because this one has pictures in it too, and I'm like, I think it's good. Doesn't matter if it's easier, uh, but it was cheaper. So $7.99. Um, then we went, let's see here. Was it this one first? Yeah. <laughs> in Washington, D.C., we went to, um, first I went to the... Arlington Cemetery with uh, eight of my kids. Then after that we went to eat all together, the whole group, because the rest of the uh, group, we are 26 
24, 24, 26 with our guides. Uh, we were 24 um, and the rest of the kids and my co-worker, they went on a bike tour. So we met at the, was it Ronald Reagan something, where they have a food court. And after that we went together to the Smithsonian Institute National History Museum. And in that store I actually bought two uh, necklaces uh, with uh, rose quartz and amethyst on it. And each of these were 850. Uh, so yeah. I don't know if I'm going to use it as a necklace necklace or just hang it and have positive vibes around it. Uh, but yeah. The ro uh, rose quartz and amethyst. So 850 each. Then we left the kids to do whatever they want to and I actually went to the Smithsonian Institution uh, Air and Space Museum. Um, why I went there is because I wanted to see the spirit of uh, St. Louis, uh, Charles Lindbergh. My name is Ola Lindbergh. Uh, so yeah, that's why. And there I actually uh, bought finally this one. This is the NASA uh, Tumblr, what do you call it? Pop up tumbler. So it looks like this has its to open and close, and you can do this. This was $24. Expensive, I know. Uh, and yeah, that was everything in uh, Washington, D.C. Then we came to the great state of Delaware, where you don't have to pay tax. Yes! Uh, and the only thing I actually bought. Uh, because we came to uh, this uh, rest stop um, and we had like 40 minutes um, I the only thing I bought was this bracelet that has a mermaid um, iridescent stone and uh, sea star no, do you call it? sea star? like this um, this was 9.99 and actually in the same store, this is the Surf Surf Shore store. They had a lot of Roxy items and one of my kids, she went nuts. And I think she bought a lot and paid like $90. I'm like, yeah, yeah, do that because you're not going to find the same things uh, elsewhere. Uh, then we came to New York. Uh, well, actually we went to Philadelphia first, but the only thing we did there was eat and went to the Rocky Steps uh, in New York very unusual I didn't buy anything I was like what um the first night we went to see my mamma mia and then on Saturday when we had the whole full day in New York uh, I actually met up with my two ladies that I met at the airport in Munich in April and the only thing we did was eat we started off eating at Italy so Italian pasta then we went to a uh, Tayaki, uh, the Japanese ice cream uh, store, and I did actually buy two items. I bought the um, uh, unicorn Tayaki unicorn ice cream and the Tayaki uh, unicorn float. With the unicorn float, you actually get this. So this is the unicorn float where you can put your drinks and have it in well in water, and it says Tayaki in New York City. Japanese ice cream. It was really really good but it started melting, well, my ice cream started melting way too fast uh, and actually I lost one of the ears on my ice cream because it was melting so much and it, I dropped it that ear on the on the ground. Um, but yeah so this is what I got uh, in New York because after that we went walking and we walked and we walked and we walked and then I went to uh, where we went to Magnolia Bakery and I bought a cupcake and after that uh, they left me and I continued walking on the High Line and then I went to um, where did I go? I went to Hell's Kitchen that area uh, to meet up with one of my old exchange students that I haven't seen in. 10 years, I think it is, yeah, 10 years, yeah, uh, and we went and we went and ate uh, tacos, 
We went and ate tacos at Otto's Tacos and after that it started raining and I was supposed to meet all my kids at Times Square. And so the only thing I bought uh, in New York was actually this. Oh, this. This is a keychain with like the big apple and the American flag. And this I actually bought for all of us in the van. Uh, we had 11 kids, well students, uh, my driver and me, so 13 of us. And I bought one of these for everyone so they can remember the trip that we had together for three weeks. And I also bought um, five uh, magnets where it's a cap where it says CIA on because I had a little game going on from that we started in, in Los Angeles that the kids should find all the uh, plates on the cars from the different states, so the different 50 states. Uh, and it was only five of my kids that really was into it and actually uh, did it. So the one that won, she had, I think it was 33 states of the 50. So it was very good. And the, the number two had 32. And then it was less and less. But only five kids of my, of, uh, my 11 did actually part participate. So uh, yeah, that was the only thing I bought. So keychains for all of us and then five uh, magnets where it said CIA and I also bought um, some Star Wars things for our driver uh, we had uh, from the start we understood that he was a uh, Harry Potter and Star Wars uh, geek nerd just like me <laughs> so uh, we bought Harry Potter and Star Wars things for him as a uh, well a gift as a thank you for driving us uh, around uh, for three weeks so yeah, that was everything I bought. Uh, not that much, um, to be honest. Uh, I think last time I did buy more. Uh, many of the things also were on sale this time around. That so was good. And yeah, that was everything. I hope you have a nice summer. and uh, Or you still have a nice summer. And uh, I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day. Bye.